Brighton, a seaside town always on the brink of cutting edge styles and trends. The youth of Brighton take pride in pioneering what is a la mode. Their mindsets are ever growing and we think it is worth trying to understand them. Today, we'll be looking at their opinions on modern fashion. Okay, I feel like fashion is like a thing that is like a, a platform for like, especially like young people to like kind of rebel and be like, I'm not going to wear what everyone else is wearing, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. So today I'm wearing um, sparkly docks, which were from the winter collection and socks with unicorns on. Um, I'm wearing these sundries that I got in Dirty Harry. <laughs> I believe, um, they were just like vintage, um, they have really big pockets on them so I really like them. I'm wearing this top that I got from a charity shop for like a pound, um, like a turtle neck top and um, a thrasher t-shirt um, that actually is new so. Young Retro, we sell clothes from the past, so um, usually it's kind of 1950s upwards. Um, rarely we'll get kind of um, 1930s or 1920s originals in, uh, but usually it's kind of 1950s or above. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's sourced from all around the world, and it's a variety of different styles and from different walks of life, so it makes it quite interesting to, um, to shop. A lot of the like vintage shops in Brighton are obviously like chains and personally that doesn't bother me like because although they're chains they don't all sell the same clothes because it would be impossible they like it's all vintage and like old so it would be pretty hard for every like beyond retro or to be worn again to have the same clothes in them. All different types of people come to be on retro and that's what makes it so interesting. Um, in Brighton, we um, our kind of target audience is usually quite young, just because it's kind of a university town, it's quite young and lively anyway. Um, but we get all sorts of people and like with, with all different kind of styles and stuff and it makes it, it makes kind of personal shopping really exciting because you don't know what's going to happen. We took to the streets to collect more thoughts. I like to wear comfy, sporty clothes. I do sport, so it makes sense. My fashion is influenced by a lot of music artists who wear a lot of weird things because they kind of express themselves. And I feel like that's a very valid reason to wear anything, as long as it makes you feel comfortable. You know, well, from Top Man, I tend to get like jeans just because they're like fairly cheap. Yeah, you know, they're alright, but Levi's is always a good place to go to as well, especially for jackets and stuff. Yeah, that's all right. Um, Beyond Retro and Urban Outfitters, HM. Yeah. We've got down the North Lane a lot of time. I think most young people use the way they dress and the things they wear and the things they buy as a way to express themselves because it's like it's like the one thing when you're like this age that your parents don't have control of like because when you get to a certain age you get to start picking out your own clothes and like you have a job and stuff like you can buy your own things so your parents don't get to control that whereas they may get to control where you go to school where you go to college like what you do and like how late you stay out and stuff but they can't control what you wear so it's like kind of at this age it's like the only thing you actually have to yourself. So it seems that what is widely accepted as fashionable is about what clothes stand out and work together, whether they're bought in a charity shop or online. It is also about not what is actually being sported, but about how it allows an individual the freedom of expression. It also seems that we could learn a lot from this way of thinking. <laughs>